Over the weekend, Speaker of the House Republican Kevin McCarthy and U.S. President Joe Biden, a Democrat, say they've reached a deal in principle to raise the debt ceiling. It takes uh, the threat of catastrophic default off the table, protects our hard-earned and historic economic recovery, and the agreement also represents a compromise, which means no one got everything they want. But that's the responsibility of governing. The deal raises the debt ceiling into 2025, past next year's elections. That was the president's primary goal. In exchange, Republicans secured caps on federal spending and expansion of work requirements for some social safety net programs. Not as much as Republicans had hoped for, but enough to, to brag about. But I believe this is an agreement in principle that's worthy of the American people. Um, it has historic reductions in spending, consequential reforms that will lift people out of poverty into the workforce, rein in government overreach. There are no new taxes, no new government programs. Now each side must convince their own members to back the bill. The more extreme members of both parties have expressed skepticism, but the leaders hope to get the deal passed even if their members don't love it. Overwhelmingly, Republicans in this conference are going to support the deal. Passage is highly likely, I would put it that way. Some analysts say once you get past all the drama, this has been an example of how Washington can productively function even in a highly partisan political time. When you close the doors and get the principles in the room, there is still some capacity for the parties to reach decision. The bill was released to lawmakers on Sunday evening. The House aims to vote on Wednesday following a mandatory 72-hour review period. The bill then moves on to the Senate. There's little room for error to get the measure to the president's desk before June 5th. That's when the U.S. will likely no longer be able to pay the bills and may go into default. Jim Spellman, CGTN, Washington.